members in the House are gearing up for a floor vote that could potentially ban the use of TikTok in the United States. Our Jasmine Payud is here with more on the impact of today's vote and concerns being raised from senators. Jasmine. Good morning, Jim Janelle. From TikTok dances to informative posts, millions of Americans use TikTok for different reasons. But lawmakers say they have concerns about data security and foreign influence. It's the latest move in a years long battle to limit the app. It's a vote that could impact millions of Americans. Lawmakers in the House set to decide on a measure that could potentially prohibit the use of TikTok in the U.S. TikTok poses a threat uh, to America's security, poses a threat to our children uh, and the future of America. If the bill gets enacted, TikTok will have about five months to break away from ByteDance, its Chinese-linked parent company. We know that people enjoy the platform. We know small businesses use the platform. But having you know the Chinese Communist Party have access to data, have the ability to uh, push mes messages and push propaganda does put our uh, security at risk. However, senators from both parties say they like some changes. Changes to the legislation. Well, I still have concerns about naming a specific company in legislation, but it feels like this House bill has momentum. Tuesday, lawmakers, TikTok creators, and supporters argued against the potential ban in Washington, D.C. All of our social media platforms need to be treated equally and need to be treated the same way. Not a single thing that we heard in today's classified briefing was unique to TikTok. It was things that happen on every single social media platform. TikTok has called this House bill an attack on users' free speech rights. And CEO So Z Chu has been trying to get into contact with U.S. senators, according to a source close to the matter. Any ban on TikTok is not just banning the freedom of expression. You are literally causing huge harm to our national economy. The ACLU issued a statement saying a potential ban on TikTok would violate the First Amendment right. When Donald Trump was president, he supported calls to ban the app, but he appears to have now backed away from that stance. President Biden, however, told reporters that he supports the bill and will sign it if passed. So we will continue to watch out for this. Janelle, I'll send it to you. A lot of people watching that story closely. Jasmine, thank you so much for that.